You know, it's interesting, in the 20th century, to make a rather sweeping statement, I think people think opera is a singing event, ballet is a dancing event. But that's a very modern idea. I mean, the 17th century is the age of storytelling, of great descriptive narrative. That's what our mead is, this stupendous story. The dancers help tell the story. A perfect example is when Renaud, the French knight, has fallen asleep under an enchantment that our mead has put him under. And she wants to sensualize him. She wants to make him weak. She takes demons and disguises them as, as beautiful nymphs and shepherds. And they sing to him and they dance to him to try to make him lower his resistance and not think about glory and warfare, but to think about love and sensuality instead. It's the sensuality of those dances. It's the beauty of the dancers that are part of his dream. We literally see what's going on in his head. But the dancers are always there helping us see the ephemeral. They become visual metaphors for us. They help us understand what's happening. Les enchantements les plus doux, sont les plus redoutables. Les enchantements les plus doux, sont les plus redoutables. Unlike the ballet today, where athleticism is what is emphasized, the French dancing, like the French music, it wasn't about the big gesture. It wasn't about something that was overt. Certainly you had people who jumped and people who turned, but it was about the subtlety, it was about the nuance, it was all about style. It's about the nuance of how the arms move, of how they cut up space. It's about beautiful patterns on the floor that give a visual sort of splendor to the production. You'll find that the arms are carried in a different way. The arms are never extended to a full height as you find with dancers today. Everything is more contained. Everything relates back to the individual. And of course, the costuming dictates a great deal of this restraint in the dancers. The women in heeled shoes rather than point shoes. The enormous costumes, the boned bodices. All of those things restrict movement in some ways, but as is the case with most restrictions, it also becomes a tremendous takeoff point for creativity. <laughs>